It's time to fire this thing up. Hit it. are just outside our boat shop and good deal you made it. Hi, I'm John Graviscus. It's great to have you back around the boat repair kind of world. And what I have right behind us is the Taco Marine Project boat. And this vessel has been at a fiberglass repair facility for the past three months. They've been taking care of a lot of down below deck issues. And kind of, if, if you were to take a look at our splash well, in some different areas on the pursuit. The fiberglass man kind of left some exposed structural fiberglass in that splash well. And we definitely need to use some type of a putty to cover it over. And who we have first on the program is Jeff Hargrove. And Jeff is with a company called Fiberglass Coatings. And literally anything you need to either build or repair a fiberglass boat, you guys have. Correct. And Jeff, we need some type of a putty. It's above the waterline, that, that mm -hmm. splash well. But I need it to uh, not only cover over the structural glass, hide it, but it needs to be easily sandable. And event we're going to be painting this boat today on the show. So I've got to get this vessel ready. Right. What do we use? We're going to use our OEM Super Polyfill. It's a great putty for fairing. It sands real easy. And it's going to give you some structural application. And then on top of it all, you can paint right over top of it. Is, is there any other... Um, uh, putties that, that are even easier to sand over top of that if you're doing some micro work. If you had some micro scratches or some smaller scratches you wanted to get out, you could use our gel coat putty. You can put that on again. Extremely easy to sand and then you can paint over that. Now guys, if you're going to be doing any type of putty work down below the waterline, if the vessel is going to be staying in the water right. permanently, okay? If you're going to be finishing your repair with gel coat, you definitely want to use below the waterline a vinyl lester putty. Now, if you're going to be bottom painting down below the water line, you want to use what, Jeff? You're going to use our epoxy trial on putty. You're going to use a putty that's resistant to osmotic blistering. It's going to make a permanent repair underneath the water line. Well, we're going to learn a lot about putties today on the program. We're also going to learn about marine paint. We're going to be painting the Pursuit. We're going to be painting the underside of our aqua sport with a marine paint. And then we're going to be getting into the mega yacht world, guys. And we're going to show you how professional companies take care of mold, mildew, and odor kind of mitigation. We want to learn from these guys, and we want to bring it into our world, the smaller pleasure boat owner. It's springtime. A lot of our boats have been covered up for the winter, and we're going to deal with that must. We're going to deal with the mold and mildew. But where we're going to begin is by hearing from all the companies, the great companies, that make this show possible.